Hi everyone, and thanks for tuning into Cruise Blog. This is Elizabeth, and today we're going to talk about the extra charges on board cruise ships that you need to be aware of. The convenience of a cruise vacation is hard to beat. Paying one flat rate for accommodations, dining, and entertainment is pretty appealing, right? Before you get all excited about the cheap cruise deal that you found, there are a few extra charges that you should be aware of. The base fare of any cruise line you sail with will include lodging, select food and beverages, transportation between ports, and entertainment. There's a lot though that the fare doesn't cover, like alcoholic beverages, spa treatments, and specialty dining. In other words, most mainstream cruise lines do not offer an all-inclusive experience. When budgeting for your vacation, here are 14 cruise ship extra charges that you should know about. First are port fees. Port fees are fees charged directly by the ports of call to the cruise line, who then pass them on to the passengers. They are a summation of a few different fees, including the pilot fee, per passenger fee, also known as head tax, and docking fee. All guests pay the exact same amount to the cruise line to help cover these fees, no matter if you are staying in a two bedroom suite or interior stateroom. There's no way to get around paying them either. Depending on your sailing, you might have to shell out anywhere from an extra $100 to $250 plus per person, as they vary based on departure port and ports of call. Usually, they are neither included in the advertised rate nor calculated into the total until the final stage in the booking process. Next are gratuities. Gratuities are service charges that most passengers pay daily for the duration of their cruise that will be split between hardworking crew members, including stateroom attendants, dining and culinary services staff, and other individuals who work behind the scenes and contribute to the overall cruise experience. Essentially, they are just tips for services you receive on board and are standard for all guests on the ship, whether you choose only to dine in the buffet or never see your stateroom attendant. Depending on the cruise line and cabin category, gratuities range from $14.50 per person per day to $25 per person per day. Most mainstream cruise lines automatically add the daily fee to each guest's onboard account if they were not prepaid in advance. Plus, many onboard purchases are subject to additional service charges. Any alcoholic beverage you get, for instance, will include an 18% gratuity on some cruise lines. Therefore, it is up to the guest if they wish to leave an extra tip in the form of cash or on their onboard account. Speaking of beverages, there are some that you will have to pay for that are not included. Depending on the cruise line, your base fare includes a select list of beverages such as water, coffee, lemonade, and iced tea. If you want to purchase other drinks, think mocktails, soda, unless you're sailing on Disney Cruise Line, or alcoholic beverages, you will have to pay for those separately. Since you'll be on vacation, you may even want to partake in more drinking than you usually do. If you think that you will be sipping on more than five drinks per day, you may want to consider splurging on a drink package. Many cruise lines offer a variety of packages to suit different personal preferences and range from soda only to premium top shelf liquor. If you don't purchase a package, expect to spend at least $10 to $14 per cocktail, $6 to $14 per glass of wine, $6 to $9 per beer, and around $3 per soda plus gratuities. If you're looking to be pampered on your cruise, you need to know that spa treatments are one of the most costly cruise add-ons, and you can spend upwards of $200 or more on a single massage. Even manicures and pedicures can cost a pretty penny, or two. Sometimes, there will be specials available on port days as an incentive to keep passengers on board. They'll either discount single treatments or put together a package of mini treatments. You can check directly with the spa or your daily cruise newsletter to see what's being offered. Additionally, cruise lines may offer free and short sessions for guests to sample spa treatments. If you have kids who love the arcade, you'll want to prepare by setting aside extra cash, as arcade games are not included in your base fare either. Each game usually costs anywhere from $1 to $3 each. Therefore, it's really easy to rack up a $30 plus tab in arcade games on a single rainy afternoon. Some cruise lines, like Royal Caribbean, allow guests to pre-purchase money to spend in the arcade for a discounted price. While it depends on the current promotion that they are offering, you can sometimes snag $100 to spend in the arcade for only $79.99. If you become a frequent cruiser and start climbing loyalty ladders, you may find yourself rewarded with arcade credits whenever you cruise. Guests 17 years old and younger who are platinum with Carnival Cruise Line, for instance, will receive a $5 arcade credit. While it's true that most activities on board a cruise ship are free, you may find yourself having to pay extra for some of the newer thrills, like the first ever roller coaster at sea bolt on board Carnival Excel class ships. If you want to ride a roller coaster in the middle of the ocean, be prepared to pay $15 per person per ride. The same goes for racing go-karts on select Norwegian cruise line ships. 
Unfortunately, the attraction isn't included in the cruise fare, and guests who have the need for speed will have to pay $15 each. Norwegian also strayed away from included mini golf with the debut of their newest ship, Norwegian Prima. One round of tea time, the first interactive and tech immersive mini golf at sea is $15. Even Royal Caribbean has a few activities that passengers will have to pay extra for, including group and private flow rider lessons that range from $69 per person to upwards of $550 per session, laser tag, which is $19.99 per guest, and even sushi making classes, which are $34.99 per guest. If there's a certain activity that you're looking forward to on board your cruise, you'll want to double check and make sure that you don't have to pay an additional fee for it. Number seven on our list is specialty dining venues. You'll never find yourself hungry when on a cruise, especially when the newer ships can have upwards of 20 different dining venues on board. From three course meals in the main dining room to a more laid back experience in the buffet and intimate meals at specialty restaurants, there are options to satisfy all travelers. Each cruise ship has select venues that are complimentary and others that cost extra. These can include signature steakhouses, sushi and hibachi restaurants, and Italian eateries. Newer ships, of course, have much more to choose from. Therefore, it's important to understand what places are included in the cost of your cruise fare and which come with a surcharge. Depending on the cruise line and type of specialty restaurant, the additional fee could be as low as $20 per person or as high as $80 per person. Staying connected with friends and family on land will cost you extra too. That said, it's easier today than ever before. Most of the time, you even have the ability to live stream to social media or via Skype, FaceTime, etc. for a premium. If you're hoping to have access to the internet for work purposes or simply to stay in contact with your loved ones, you'll need to appropriately budget for it. The last thing you want to think about on your vacation is laundry, but hey, life happens. Whether you find yourself in a situation where you didn't pack enough clothes or had an unfortunate spill, it's nice to know that most cruise ships have laundry facilities and services for an additional fee. Laundry services can be quite pricey, with some cruise lines charging $7 plus for a shirt and $10 plus for a dress. One perk of reaching higher cruise line status is that many of them provide some sort of free laundry incentive. Have you ever wanted to go behind the scenes for a look at ship operations, explore the engine control room, and receive a tour of the bridge? For an additional fee, some cruise lines offer some sort of all-access tour to a limited number of guests, allowing them to peek into the areas of the ship for a rare insider's view. According to Carnival Cruise Line's website, the cost of their Behind the Fun Ultimate Tour is between $55 per person and $95 per person. In comparison, Royal Caribbean's All Access Tour is anywhere from $155 to $200 per person. Next, if you are hoping to utilize the ship's photography services, you will have to be willing to pay extra for them. Unless, that is, you have reached certain loyalty levels and receive limited photos each cruise for free. Usually, photographs are a great, cost-effective way to remember your vacation. Photos captured by the cruise line's photographers, however, are not cheap. One alone can cost you between $15 and $25. Depending on which cruise line you're sailing with, you may be able to purchase a photo package to save a little bit of money. On Royal Caribbean, the cheapest package is for 10 photos and costs around $100. Once on board, you may even be able to purchase an unlimited package. Room service is a luxury that many feel is a necessity while on vacation. I mean, is there a better way to start the day than to have breakfast delivered to your stateroom while sitting outside on your personal balcony? There's tons of complimentary food available on your cruise, so it makes sense for one to assume that room service would be too. It's most likely just the same food coming from the buffet or main dining room anyways, right? Wrong. While the food itself is free unless you're sailing on Carnival, there is an applicable service charge that varies by the time of day and cruise line. Continental breakfast is usually included in the cost of your cruise fare. Norwegian Cruise Line, however, recently started charging $4.95 plus 20% gratuity for breakfast. Included, though, are hot menu items such as ham and cheddar omelets and French toast. During the day, most cruise lines charge a fee for every room service order, which ranges from $7.95 plus 18% gratuity on Royal Caribbean to $9.95 plus 20% gratuity for Norwegian and celebrity cruises. If you are sailing on Disney Cruise Line, 24-hour complimentary room service is included. For those who prefer to stay active while on vacation, you can absolutely use the ship's fitness center for free. Some, however, like the atmosphere of a workout class. Cruise lines offer fitness classes for a nominal fee, usually anywhere from $12 to $20 per class. Your ship may offer spin classes, Pilates, or even personal training sessions. Those, however, can cost over $80 each. Finally, if you are looking to fill your days in port with exciting adventures, be prepared to shell out extra money for shore excursions. What kind of once-in-a-lifetime activities are on your bucket list? Riding a helicopter up to the top of a glacier in Alaska? 
What about snorkeling at the Mesoamerican Reef, the largest barrier reef in the Western Hemisphere off the coast of Honduras? Cruises are a fantastic way to see the world and experience new cultures, even if only for a few hours before returning to the ship. Excursions and ports of call, however, cost extra and are not included with your cruise fare. This may not be as important in the Caribbean or Bahamas, where there are easily accessible beaches near every port, but you'll want a nice shore excursion budget for European and Alaskan cruises. Due to their duration and activity levels, they tend to be pricier than the two-hour snorkeling excursions that you find in the Caribbean. Some can even run more than $150 per person. Of course, you can always look into third-party vendors for potential savings. It's important that you understand the pros and cons of booking outside of the cruise line, though. If, for instance, your excursion runs late, the cruise ship won't wait for you. All right, everybody, that's all we have for you today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you're notified whenever we post a new video. Thanks and happy cruising!